Steve and I have taken my uh, stable of white motorcycles, you know, these two, and we're heading down to Corvallis to meet up with uh, a few other guys. How's your neck? Just stay on your side. Is it in your back or in your neck? You gotta talk, back or neck? Yeah, hold on, let him catch you. gotta feel his feet. I don't want to move until his back. I worked in surgery. You know, so keep him on his side. Don't let him get on his back. Can you feel this? Hold on, hold on. Okay, talk to him. Really hurting that. Am I got going? Get my helmet off. Where does it hurt? I don't know. Is your back? Can you feel all your limbs? Can you feel this? Uh, yeah. Can you feel this? 
Yeah. Can you feel yeah. this? Yeah. All right, can you feel this hand? Can you feel this hand? Yeah. Okay. So here's a look at my Comet Racing Leathers uh, after the crash. One of the things that I find really amazing is that I had no injuries to my hips, knees, legs, any of that. So all this, uh, you know, you can see there's a lot of dirt and everything on there and there's impact on the knees, but there was uh, no injury sustained by, by any of that. So the EMTs cut these off, uh, you know, I, I told them I'd only worn it twice and they're like, okay, so you have no attachment to the suit. Got it, we're cutting it off. Uh, this is where I broke my collarbone. Uh, this would have been my four ribs right here that I broke. Um, on the uh, back, you can see, you know, where I definitely impacted the ground. Uh, I had one broken rib in the back here, um, and it was kind of to the side. I, I, you know, you really can't expect your your leathers with a design like this or any leathers to protect you from a collarbone. Uh, injury because there's I mean there's really nothing there if you hit that hard enough you're just gonna break your collarbone so really overall very happy with how the Comet Leathers uh, protected me I definitely buy them again uh, and actually I am I already ordered the suit but this uh, this elbow hit really hard and if it wasn't for really good quality pads here uh, I think that I would have sustained a, a pretty bad elbow injury or arm injury um, this to me is just comical. Uh, these boots would be fine, but these guys couldn't figure out that there's there's Velcro and a zipper, and that's how boots come off. There's there's a way to take off the boots without cutting them. EMTs. We're here with uh, Fix It Felix, and uh, this is the CBR 600 RR, which I crashed on the track last year. Uh, we threw a Band-Aid on here. It's been about a year. We put some Neosporin on there. We expect that's going to close up sometime soon. Here's the CBR 1000 RR that I crashed on. Give you a little bit of an idea of what happened. This is, was a new tire, the S21 Bridgestone. We've got some scratches to the subframe. That could be just a little bit bent. Uh, we will re-bend that if need be. We'll, we'll address that. I'm not too worried about it. Subframe got a lot of scratches to it. The scratches are deeper than I initially thought, and I will go ahead and replace the swing arm. It'll probably cost me around $150. Next piece of damage on here is the rear sets. These are uh, Woodcraft rear sets. I've already got the replacement parts to put on here. Uh, just the shifter uh, knob there, and then uh, the uh, the peg itself. Probably another 40 bucks here for the stator cover. Uh, slider did a pretty darn good job, considering it's just a uh, no-cut slider, not a cut slider more fairings uh you know i'm i'm probably going to go ahead and do just a uh, a blank kit and we're going to have cody with hopeless racing do some paint just do a custom full paint job and i think it's going to look really neat that guy busted off maybe preventing some fork damage everything else seems to look good uh i went ahead and just bought the vortex clip-ons that you'll see down here uh as they break they'll cost me, instead of cost me around 160 bucks, they will cost me about $10 just to replace the tube. Mirror, you know, I don't know what that's gonna cost, but it can't be too bad. Headlight housing, that got scratched. So we'll replace the high beam side. Otherwise, that's pretty well it. No damage here on the right side. Exhaust looks good. Felix has got a good shot here of the damaged uh, left side fairing. That definitely got gouged up. Give you a look at the helmet. Uh, damage to the back. <laughs> What's going on, Felix? Uh, damage to the back, uh, some scratches going on. Definitely enough for me to say, hey, I'm not using this helmet again. I'll give you a look at the uh, the new helmet is here. This is the HJC ARFA 11 Pro. Uh, very cool helmet, very lightweight, much more of a high-end product than the Icon helmet I was using previous. I'm excited about that, and I'm especially excited about the Comet Racing Leathers that I got coming. Uh, the old ones held up really nicely, and uh, the new ones are going to be that much cooler. Custom fit, custom colors, logos, all that stuff. A big part of this crash that's hard for me is it was definitely my fault. It could have been prevented. I expected that I would do a better job at reacting, uh, but I didn't look where I was supposed to look. I didn't press when I was supposed to press. Uh, to use my, my counter steering, a little bit of trail braking as I wanted to close my radius would have been nice. 
but I didn't, and that's the truth, and I'm going to try and take this as an opportunity to learn, and hopefully other writers can also learn. Anyway, as always, watch for perps, and tally-ho!